Find the positive integer solutions to this equation. 3 over x plus 4 over y equals 5. What shall we do? x and y are the denominators, and we hate them always. So what shall we do? We can multiply the both sides by x times y. So the left hand side will be 3 times y plus 4 times x equals on the right hand side we'll end up with 5 times x y. Now we can subtract the left hand side from the right hand side. 5 times x y minus 3y minus 4x equals 0. Very good. Usually, we hope that the left hand side can be factorized. Now you can see, here is a y here as well. So what shall we do? Take out a y maybe. However, I'm going to do this. I will take out a 5y. Why? Because you see, if we only take out a y, in the bracket, we're going to acquire 5x minus 3. However, here is only minus 4x. Very difficult to deal with. So here, 5y times, we have x minus, what's this? 3 over 5. Now it's very good. However, we have here, minus 4x. Don't worry. Here we have x. Here we have four a uh, minus four x. Sorry. Here is minus four x. Here is x. So now we can actually take out a four. But what will happen then? We don't know, because here we only have a term about x. So we hope that there will also be x minus three over five. Because this is only a term about x. So we hope that we can take out x minus 3 over 5 here. However, we cannot do that so simply. We can firstly take out minus 4. Then we pretend to write a 3 over 5 here. However, we cannot do that. Of course not. In math, nobody is allowed to do that. But here, we have one more constant. It is minus 4 times minus 3 over 5. So we have plus 4 times 3 over 5, plus 12 over 5. So we have to subtract 12 over 5 or add it to the right-hand side. Then, it is fair. That means these two equations are equivalent. Now, take out this happily. x minus 3 over 5 times 5y minus 4 equals this one. Oh, fraction. I hate fraction. Here is 5, here is 5. So we can multiply both sides by 5. And it is 5x minus 3 times 5y minus 4 equals 12. Now, because x and y are positive, that means x is greater than or equal to 1, y as well. So then, 5x minus 3 5x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 2. 5y minus 4 is greater than or equal to 1. So now we can factor 12. 1 times 12, 2 times 6. 3 times 4, 4 times 3. 6 times 2, 12 times 1. There is no solution to the first case because 1 is more than 2. To the second case, 
x is 1, y is 2. To the third case, no solutions. To the fourth case, no solutions. To the fifth case, no solutions. And to the last case, x is 3, y is 1. So now you can see there are two, two pairs of solutions. There are 1, 2, and 3, 1. 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus 4 is 5. Did you get them? Give me a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.